What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English beat. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and I hope handy. We're going to learn nine synonyms for the expression sure or for sure. Some of them are very informal, so they will help you sound more casual. Are you ready to broaden your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! So the first expression on my list today is super common. You know it for sure? Of course. Of course. Let's look at two examples. The first one. Could you make a cheesecake for dessert? Of course. Could you make a cheesecake for dessert? Of course. And one more example. Would you like to come with me to the concert? Of course. Would you like to come with me to the concert? Of course. Another alternative for sure or for sure is absolutely. The stress goes on low. Absolutely. For example, let's go hiking tomorrow. Absolutely. Let's go hiking tomorrow. Absolutely. One more example. Will you be there? Absolutely. Will you be there? Absolutely. Let's continue. The third option is definitely. Definitely. Defo is a contraction of definitely, but it's more common in written English than spoken. And now two examples. The first one. Let's do something fun tonight. Definitely. Let's do something fun tonight. Definitely. And one more example. Will you do this by the end of the day for me, please? Definitely. Will you do this by the end of the day for me, please? Definitely. Number four, we can also say 100%. 100%. For example, next year will be better. 100%. Next year will be better. 100%. Another example, could you make it tonight? 100%. Could you make it tonight? 100%. Let's move on to our synonym number five, which is will do. Will do. The first example, please remember to book a table for tomorrow's lunch. Will do. Please remember to book a table for tomorrow's lunch. Will do. And one more example. Pick me up at 7. Will do. Pick me up at 7. Will do. And now we're going to learn four American expressions that mean sure, of course. They are super common and I'm sure you'll hear them a lot when watching American movies and series. Number six, sure thing, sure thing. The first example, could you give me a lift to the airport? Sure thing. Could you give me a lift to the airport? Sure thing. The second example, how about going to the cinema this weekend? Sure thing. How about going to the cinema this weekend? Sure thing. Number seven, you got it. You got it. For example, could you get me a Coke, please? You got it. Could you get me a Coke, please? You got it. And one more example here. Could you make dinner tonight? You got it. Could you make dinner tonight? You got it. And tomorrow to go, number eight, you bet. You bet. The first example, please take care of your sister. You bet. Please take care of your sister. You bet. And one more example, are you coming to the housewarming party? You bet. 
Are you coming to the housewarming party? You bet. And last but not least, a very similar expression to the previous one, but even more informal. You betcha. You betcha. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, are you going abroad when everything is back to normal? You betcha. Are you going abroad when everything is back to normal? You betcha. Guys, where would you like to travel first when the COVID is over? In my case, I want to go to Japan. And the last example, do you fancy some sushi for lunch? You betcha. Do you fancy some sushi for lunch? You betcha. I'd never say no to sushi. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. From now on, try to use other synonyms for of course or sure. And of course, if you liked this lesson, I would be very grateful if you could give it a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!